PU grips are the most popular type of grip that we sell. I've got some of our best sellers here. We've got the Caracal PU grip, which is nice and durable, has a nice tacky surface. We've got the Yonix High Soft grip, which is a little thinner, a little softer. And the Victor Fishbone, which has a bit of texture on the surface. Okay, so to fit a PU grip, you're going to need to strip your racket back to the wood. So it's got a nice surface to adhere to. You need possibly some grip tape and also a, a sharp pair of scissors. So I'm going to put the, the Caracal PU grip on the racket here. So I'll start off and remove the bit of grip tape from around the grip. I'm going to unfold it. I'm going to get rid of the protective cellophane on this side. So just peel it all off. And then on the other side, we've got paper to cover the sticky bit. So if we just peel all of that off that side, and we'll be ready to put the grip on. Now each of these grips has a tapered end, okay, and you can see that it starts off thinner, okay, the Caracal PU has a handy start written on one end. We're going to start down the bottom of the handle of the racket. And we're going to just apply the grip in the middle here, right on the bottom of the handle. We're going to start pulling round bit by bit until we get to this little tapered end here where we're going to start going up the racket. Okay. So just keep applying a little bit of pressure, just keep winding, overlapping a little bit as you go along so it's nice and uniform, like so, until you get up to the cone. You might have to just put a little bit more pressure on the top. When you get there, just cut it off nice and in line with the cone. get rid of the excess, fold it round. Now at this point you can either use the tape that comes with it, make sure you've removed all the bits of paper, place it on there, and just wind it round a few times nice and neat to finish off the grip. Or you can use your own grip tape which tends to be a bit stickier. So there you go, there's a PU grip. Around the world, probably the most popular grips are, for badminton are overgrips. Now overgrips differ from PU grips because they don't have a sticky surface on the back. They're very thin and they're basically just a surface for your badminton racket. They're quite versatile, there's lots of different things you can do with them. They come in all sorts of different forms, the Onyx Super Grab Pack 3, on a roll, and the RS. They come in colour, different colours, different surfaces, like that, the Elite Dry, that has a very soft kind of surface. The Wilson Pro Comfort has a very tacky one. Um, so take a bit of time, get a few different ones, try and different ones and see what you like. So I'm just going to use the Yonix one here, so open up the packet, get them out. These come on a real three, separated into individual grips. So I've just got a bit of grip tape. So we're going to get one of the over grips off the reel. Let's see where the second one starts there. Peel that away. And we're going to do the simplest over grip. Just get rid of all of these. And just put it straight on to the handle. Now I've seen a lot of the Chinese players that I play with do this and the benefit of putting the overgrip straight on the handle is that it keeps the grip nice and thin. Keeping your grip thin is really good for helping you generate power because it helps you turn the racket uh, in your hand and generate a lot of racket head speed. So just like with the PE grip we've stuck it onto the bottom of the handle here. I'm just going to Pull gently as we go round and get to the point where we've got 
to where it starts to bend. Okay, and then we're going to carry on pulling. I'm going to overlap quite a bit, um, just to give some sort of cushioning, because the overgrips are always really long, because um, they're designed to cover all rackets, like really big tennis rackets and things like that. So there's always plenty of it. So I'm overlapping almost entirely here. So we've got a double layer of overgrip. We're getting up to the top. So there we go. And same as always, just cut off in line with the cone. Get your bit of tape. finish round the top okay so there you go nice and tight nice and neat you can still feel the ridges under there so you can have a lot of control of the racket a lot of feel of the shuttlecock perhaps not the most comfortable way to grip your racket I mean, there's no sponge under there so it's quite hard if you're playing for a long time it might get blisters but if you are getting blisters on your hands perhaps you're gripping your racket too hard reason a lot of people have it like this is so they can generate the power with their thumb four fingers like so. So that's just an overgrip on the handle. If you want to keep your grip nice and thin but you don't but you want a little bit more cushioning than just putting the overgrip straight onto the handle, you could try something like this Victor cushion wrap. Okay, it's just basically a big roll of sponge, it's very thin, very light hardly weighs anything and you can put that over the racket handle underneath the overgrip to give you that little bit of sponge feeling. Uh, it's a good idea when using the cushion wrap to just wrap the handle in sellotape so that all this gooey residual stuff from the previous grip doesn't stick onto the sponge and you can get it off when you want to change the sponge. To put the sponge on it can be a little bit fiddly I probably need a little bit more practice at this. Um, you just start at the handle and start winding it round. There's plenty of sponge on here for multiple rackets, um, so don't feel you have to put it all on and it get too big. Try and keep it nice and flat and try and build up a nice even layer all the way down the handle. Okay, as I say, it's a bit fiddly, it will take you a bit of practice to get this right, as it will me. Okay, so we've just got it started now. We can carry on like that. And once you've got to the desired thickness, all you have to do is just pull it off, and there you are. And then you can just wind the overgrip on top and then you, you'll have a nice bit of cushioning on your racket. A lot of professional players like to use a towel grip. Now these are really good when you're in particularly humid conditions or if you sweat a lot and um, they're very absorbent. Not quite as popular with our customers as the PU grips or the over grips but I thought I'd show you them anyway. So unwind it like any other grip you'll notice they're quite a lot shorter okay that's because they you don't need to be overlapped at all and take off the paper backing on the grip ready to apply it to the racket and just do it in the same manner as the other grips so start at the bottom wind round pull it a little so it's nice and flat and then it's important you don't overlap because you're not going to have enough towel grip left if you start overlapping it plus it's going to feel really odd okay so i'm going to just cut off at the top in a nice straight line and nearly straight Grip tape to seal the end. 
can never get these quite as neat as the other grips. But you can always use a bit more tape if you need to. So there you go, a towel grip. Often used in conjunction with grip powder, you just put it onto the handle and it will absorb all the sweat and keep you going uh, throughout the match.